Crossmark's Bob Dole saying this, equity markets have stumbled modestly because of yet another pivot by Fed Chair Jay Powell. The odds favour an equity correction or consolidation rather than a transition into a bear market. For now, the economic and inflation backdrop is not consistent with rate cuts. Bob is with us for more. Bob, good morning. Howdy. Consolidation versus say, dipping into a bear market and bear market territory. What's the distinction between the two? Distinction, of course, is, is amount of decline and, of course, the macro data behind it. As you all discussed, um, economic data is pretty good. It, in that environment, it's unlikely we see the eyes of a recession anytime soon and, therefore, a plain old bear market. So we're way overbought, maybe not in the short term, but we've had that almost 30% rise from the Fed pivot announcement on Halloween. Uh, until the recent high, it's time for just a little rest. Markets get tired, just like you and me. When you say overbought, and I'm tired too, are you talking about the index level on the S&P, a specific cohort of names, the big tech players? What are you talking about specifically? Yes, all of the above. I mean, the, the breadth of uh, participation certainly improved. It's uh, not what a lot of technicians would like to see. And as you're pointing out uh, in the earlier conversation for these uh, high-flying big attention names, if the numbers don't come through and the verbiage isn't perfect, you know, you, you, you spill back. I'm not, you know, take meta. It, uh, down, yes, but look at it over the last six months, 12 months, it's still been a monster stock. Mike Wilson was on the show of Morgan Stanley a couple of days ago, and he was talking about how difficult it is to call any kind of index level because this has been a story of specific stocks, and we see that in the earnings. The bar is different, the types of guidance is different, the response is different. How has that changed the way you approach investing? Much more stock specific. Take the Magnificent Seven. Last year, they all went up. We get to the first quarter this year and you get uh, Apple and Tesla down a double digit percentage and some up a, do a double digit percentage. It's not uh, a stock market, it's a market of stocks as we often say, but that's even more true now.